<laughs> hey. How's everyone doing? <laughs> we made it. It's Thursday. Ah, Colin, thank you for the hype. <laughs> Let's see. Let me go down the list. Let's see. Hey, Rio. Hey, Yunos. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Colin. Hey, everyone that's showing up. Uh, and Landis, thank you for the follow. Also, thank you for the follow as well, uh, Famo. Uh, thank you for popping in real quick. I uh, hope you're having a good time on your stream. Uh, and hope you jump back over. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so good to see you in here, uh, Landis, uh, and for everyone that is new, uh, welcome, uh, to our Thursday night streams, uh, that I always title E-Rank, uh, it's a Sonic reference, uh, but this is where we just kind of have a good vibe stream, chat, you get to chat with me, I chat with you, and we always do some sort of fun tier list ranking, uh, <laughs> And this week it's going to be pretty fun because it's all in your hands uh, of how we decide where things are going to go. So uh, we're going to have a lot of cool like little like interaction and everything uh, for that. Uh, so I'm curious to see. And I'll explain more on that in a bit. But uh, yeah, uh, how is everyone's day been going? I know yesterday I'm still recovering from what staying up so late last night <laughs> when we decided to beat Sonic 3 and Knuckles all in one go <gasps> is that is that is that a subscription oh <gasps> yo seven thank you for the Prime subscription. You are now officially part of the Rue crew. <laughs> so good to have you. Um, part of this, you will get all your perks. Uh, speaking of, uh, you should now have access to some cool emojis, some more channel points, and uh, the thing I'm happy to announce tonight, which is access not only to our Discord server, but to our special members only section. Uh, so that's kind of what I've been, uh, busy with, uh, since last night. So after playing, what, 14 levels of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, collecting all those emeralds, getting carpal tunnels from playing, uh, spent more time getting the Discord set up for you all. So I am happy to announce that the, uh, Bounce House is, uh, officially open. Uh, so go on in there, uh, We'll have to get uh, everything like verified and stuff, uh, but uh, it is open for you guys to go ahead and start jumping in there. And if you are subscribed, it should uh, should jump right over uh, and give you access to the members only section where um, we'll be organizing special game and Jackbox nights, uh, as well as just like chill chats on Fridays and movie nights. Uh, cause we got a lot of movies to watch. Uh, I got some plan that I don't think a lot of people have seen. <laughs> so that, that should be pretty fun. <laughs> so, uh, hop on over there. Uh, and oh man. Yeah. Colin last night. Yeah. Tails and Knuckles kept messing everything up. But, but despite all that, we still saved the world? Question mark? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Head on over to the uh, Discord server uh, if you want to join. Um, I also have uh, space in there for uh, suggestions of, you know, certain tier lists we want to do for the stream. Uh, anything you'd like to see to help the stream and the community grow. Uh, also, uh, have sections in there for us to share, like, cool art, memes we find. Uh, if you got any cool clips of uh, me totally screwing it up when I say I'm a Sonic expert. <laughs> that can go in there as well. Uh, and uh, a cool collection just for uh, if you're into like game collections or any type of like uh, collection, whether it's like anime, games, uh, even bottle caps. Like I want to see uh, any cool collections you may have. So uh, we have that over there as well in the community. Uh, and it also give us more to uh, chat about on our uh, nights like this. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Uh, and yeah, like I said, bear with me. It's my first time uh, getting a whole uh, Discord server set up. So if there's any like issues or anything, like let me know and I'll get it. Uh, uh, I'll get that sorted out so that we can all have a good time. Uh, but anyway, yes. Um, so uh, Zevin, I know I keep seeing you around like playing like different games and stuff. Uh, and I'm wondering, uh, you know, what kind of games you're checking out recently. Actually, chat in general. Um, that's what I had for uh, a question for us. If you uh, hit theme uh, in the chat tonight, uh, I was trying to see like, what was your first like game memory? Like game memory, like period <laughs> uh, that you had uh, from playing video games. Cause I know mine, funnily enough, um, you would think it would be Sonic, right? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, my first video game memory was uh, Super Mario Brothers 1 and Duck Hunt. Uh, those were the, the first games I played because I was really into the uh, to the light gun. Uh, oh, Colin, which uh, which Call of Duty? Because uh, I didn't get into Call of Duty or or I should say rather the only Call of Duties that I uh, got a chance to play were the uh, Modern Warfare series. Because those were the only ones I was kind of good at. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Wait, is that the one that came out on, I think, either... Was it the N64 or GameCube? Like, that old one? Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, that one is hard. Oh. Landis, oh my god, no, no, you did not bring up the, uh, <laughs> the terrible Pac-Man port, oh no, <laughs> it's so bad, like the box art makes you think that, um, uh, uh, the box art makes you think that you got, like, you know, a really cool at-home version of Pac-Man, and then you play it, and it's like, what? am I playing right now? <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but let's see. Boulder Dash. Oh, I no. So Jackie, I've never played it, but I know what it is. Cause anybody that's into like old, like PC games and everything. Um, no, like the OG games. I just never got to play it. Uh, but no, I have heard of, I have heard of it. Uh, and <laughs> Kaji, oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if that'll be a thing. <laughs> oh man, but um, oh Colin, okay, it was Black Ops 1. Was that the one where you could unlock the cheat? Where uh, Ice was it Ice Cube? Yeah, Ice Cube's voice was in multiplayer. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kaji, if I ever do a uh a um what do you call it uh like 24 hour stream that can be part of the sleep stream then <laughs> oh man so many good memories you guys this is great uh dude original game boy mario yes uh tetris and metroid you know and then yeah my first was the original which i still have uh back there is the original game boy um mega man uh, I had that, and then Donkey Kong Land 2, uh, which I played Donkey Kong Land before I played Donkey Kong Country 2. So when I finally got to rent part two from Blockbuster, I was like, oh my God, it's like the one I played on my Game Boy, but better. <laughs> Zevon, oh man, that's, oh, you like made me so happy right now uh, with Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Frick yes. I, does anybody remember do you remember the commercial? Uh, like, if you were around in, like, the early 2000s, like, there was a commercial where it was, like, a, a, a hospital, and Crash and Spyro and Sonic were all in, like, bandages. And then Ty is just, like, the one that, like, all, like, totally wrecked them because he was supposed to be, like, the new kid on the block. They were really pushing him to be, like, the new mascot. Uh, but I'm so happy he's had, like, a resurgence and uh, is getting... Um, 
uh, all these HD remasters. I don't know if they're going to make it to tie 3. I hope they do. Uh, but all the HD remasters are super fun if you get a chance to play them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Was it? Oh, wow. Dude, you all have so many good uh, video game memories that like were also part of my childhood. Uh, I think you're thinking uh, Jazz Jackrabbit. Uh, that was it. Because uh, it was by Apogee Games. I actually got that game at a yard sale from someone on a naval air base uh, in Tennessee. Paid like, I think I got it for like maybe like six bucks. Got the whole game. Uh, and it was like the one game I specifically remember our computer was powerful enough to run. Because we couldn't play anything. Like our computer as kids, it was like, get this. Our computer was so bad, it couldn't even play Mist. <laughs> uh, and then let's see yeah Super Nintendo yep Duck Hunt and Mario I feel like a lot of people played that dude yes yes you got Game Boys for Christmas uh, Pokemon Red and Blue uh, so who in your family got to play Red and who got to play Blue and who said it was better <laughs> who said which version was better <laughs> Ah, oh, Vern, welcome on in. So good to see you tonight. <laughs> ah, so your was Hydro Thunder. Ah, oh, God, yes, that was the one on N sixty four, right? Because uh, I think I think Hydro Thunder was on N sixty four and then Dreamcast, if I'm not mistaken. Because they always get it mixed up with Wave Racer. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, I see it here. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so you got that in like Sonic Adventure. So I actually got Sonic Adventure 2 before I got part one. Because <laughs> I got my Dreamcast in 2001. And oh, yeah, I have, uh, I got red as well. Uh, and I got Pokemon back when it, uh, red, blue, and yellow were a thing. So I got red for Christmas with a red Game Boy. My sister wanted yellow. Yellow was sold out everywhere, so she didn't get Pokemon yellow. So I was like, feeling all good. I was like, ha, I got the game I wanted. And then turns out she gets a Game Boy Color. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is so not fair. <laughs> Oh, the, yep, right. Oh my god, Lego Island, dude. That is a memory. I've, I've actually been, um, been trying to collect all the Lego games that came out for the Wii U. Uh, those have been pretty fun. And I want to get the Lego Dimensions, uh, like packs that all came out for the Wii U since I have one. And I kind of have to because there's a Sonic expansion pack. So, I mean, come on. <laughs> no see Rio here's why I was happy with the Game Boy Color because I believe the Game Boy Color had a backlight so I was like oh my god I can actually see it so I'd always has to borrow my sisters because <laughs> she had the one that had a backlight in it no Landis your dog gets your Sonic minifigure why <laughs> That's so messed up. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. My heart, my heart, it like bleeds for you. Uh, luckily, uh, I kept all mine away from my sister. Uh, she's the one that had like a freaking, uh, a freaking like little, uh, little dog. And she would always, uh, she would always let them out. And I would have to like hide my things because I did not want them like taking them in their mouth and using them as chew toys. So I managed to save a lot of my stuff. I think the only thing that got broken was like the jewel case from my Daft Punk CD. That was it. <laughs> but oh, uh, yeah, that's so sad. Oh, uh, and then oh, oh wow, the Indiana Jones ones actually have a Lego uh, editor in it. So it was like Mario Maker before Mario Maker. All right. That one I need to get. 
uh, because uh, I think that's the one I um, I didn't know because I was just familiar with like the Dimension series so I never got uh, Lego Batman any of the other like Lego Island series uh, for like Wii and uh, Wii U so I got like a lot of catching up to do and apparently they're pretty uh, pretty cheap as well uh, nowadays like you can get all those games for like maybe 11 12 bucks a piece oh wow Colin yeah <laughs> crazy to think right we're moving on up moving on up <laughs> in the world uh, we're 10 followers away so that is that's awesome <laughs> I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do something uh, special when we get to our like 100 followers um, thinking about doing a really cool uh, still doing that really cool like cooking stream because I have a bunch of uh, video game recipes that I've been holding on to from like old comic books and like old PR material uh, so we might we might do that and celebrate uh, I have I have an idea I may I may throw it in the discord and see what everyone thinks uh, about that uh, over the weekend so we'll see <laughs> and I know so close Rio yes use those Hype and uh, smile emojis. I love those. <laughs> Landis, are you are are you insane to get a complete Wii? That is that is that's insanity. Because once you get past all the good stuff, it's straight up shovelware, just straight up shovelware. Uh, you're gonna be the one to collect chicken shoot <laughs> and uh and fling smash because <laughs> that's what you're gonna be stuck with if you uh if you do that i'm uh oh wait 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 you're right i didn't see the u at first you're right so the uh wii u okay no wii u is super easy i'm actually uh working on that because it's really cheap right now and i feel uh, after like the Wii U shop and all that starts closing down officially this year, uh, the Wii U is suddenly going to become like this relic that uh, gets super expensive. It'll be like the not Dreamcast Dreamcast. Uh, so I've been collecting for it right now um, while I still can. The only thing on there that's still expensive though is Twilight Princess HD Collection if you want the physical of that. Um, and uh, Wario, uh, the WarioWare game that came out on there. Uh, those two are pretty, uh, pretty expensive, but everything else is dirt cheap. And of course, Star Fox Zero is, you can get it brand new, factory sealed for like 11 bucks. <laughs> and that's on Amazon. <laughs> oh man, it's, yeah. Dude. Uh, Fresh Fox. <laughs> I, I will admit, I'm such a Star Fox fan that um, I got that uh, weird game that came out on a Switch uh, that was like a Toys to Life game just to get the R-Wing figure. Uh, I haven't even opened the game. I just wanted the really cool Star Fox figure in a R-Wing model, but eh. <laughs> you saw him at Five Below? I saw him at uh, Kroger slash uh, Fred Meyer. Uh, Star Fox Zeros. I saw them there and they were just like in like the dollar bin <laughs> I feel so bad uh, cuz the whole like development process for that game was a mess uh, yeah dude uh, isn't that uh, isn't that something uh, the Mario Kart on a uh, on Wii like I remember everybody everybody and like their grandmother literally was buying that game um i remember it because like it sold like millions of copies so everyone had it because they wanted the really cool wheel which when you think about it it's just a piece of trash it's just a piece of plastic <laughs> it literally does not affect the game at all it's a piece of plastic but people were paying for that uh, and thought that like enhanced the uh the gaming experience uh but yeah, um, Mario Kart Wii was probably like the only one I never like saved. It was like the one game I like traded away when I had it. Um. 
<laughs> Rio, yes. It would be like, I'm using tilt controls with your plastic? Okay. Um, and depending on how well calibrated your uh, little bar was, it worked or it didn't. Uh, my personal favorite Mario Kart will always be uh, Double Dash. Like, Double Dash had its own flair, had some of the best courses. Uh, I, I think that's where Coconut Mall first showed up. Uh, and it had one of my favorite Rainbow Roads. Like, Double Dash was just like, ugh, yes. <laughs> now we have PS5s. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I saw that they dropped the uh, N64 uh, for Switch. Uh, and, but as usual, they're really slow with the rollout of, um, all those games. So hopefully we get the, uh, the good library before they like, before like the next year and a half. I would love them to do it a lot quicker than what they've been doing for like the SNES and NES ones. But who knows? I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, well, no, I know I was gonna say, I am mad though that they made all that hype about Mario 3D All-Stars for a limited time, took it away, and now put Mario 64 on uh, the N64 channel on the uh, Switch. So I'm like, come on guys, come on Nintendo, why do you always do this to us? <laughs> and yeah, it's calling, no, now we all have like PS5s. <laughs> Dude, 3D All-Stars has been gone. It went away at the end of March last year. It was only a limited time thing from October 2020 to March uh, 2021. They, yeah, that was a huge thing Nintendo did. Uh, they only released it for a limited amount of time so they could gouge, price gouge. And then literally uh, after the end of March, so on March 31st, they had it removed from all store shelves. Like it was a mandate. All store shelves had to take it down. It was also removed digitally. It's gone back into the Disney vault forever. Like, uh, and so they basically created a false demand. Basically the same thing they did with the Super NES Mini. Yeah, they could have made more, but why when we can price gouge? Uh, and this is, yeah, this is what I hate for, uh, for Nintendo a lot of the times. I'm like, why do you all do this? Uh, do they make great games? Yes. But the way they handle like customer relationships and like relationships with fans is so horrible and two seconds I'm, I'm gonna get on my soapbox for two seconds and I'll hop off promise uh, I I hate the fact that Nintendo always just like kind of screws fans over like with the 3d all-stars thing and they could have put more effort into it but they didn't uh, the whole um, you know, uh, when the Switch first came out, kind of making Wii U fans uh, angry because they released everything on Switch and made the Wii U basically obsolete. Uh, and the whole the whole music thing. Yeah. I'm like, like, dude, I don't understand. They're like, you know what they're like, Rio, have you ever seen that meme of that dude like opening his wallet and being like, there's nothing in it. Like, that's how Nintendo acts. Like, they're like, oh, we could print money, I mean, but we, we just won't. Like, it's so easy for us to do it, but eh, we're not going to do that. We'd rather issue DMCAs to like 5,000 YouTube channels because they had one piece of, uh, of uh, Nintendo music in their stuff. <laughs> Which I always have a problem with. I'm like, sorry, Nintendo. Sorry people are giving free advertising and free exposure to your game so you can go make more money. So like, dude, say what you will about like Sega and you know, them rushing games or making Sonic like, you know, not as good as he could be. But I will say they treat their fans uh, a lot better than Nintendo has. Like Sega's just pretty much like, yeah, use our music in, our, in your streams. Go make fan games. Go, you know, stream our games on every platform. Because that'll make people want to come play the games and keep our IPs, like, current and relevant. Which is how Sonic has survived all this time through, like, all these sucky games. Uh, is just by Sega allowing that to happen. And I thought it was such a Chad move. 
uh, on that day because it happened earlier this week when uh, Nintendo was taking down a bunch of YouTube channels. Uh, Sega was like, oh, that's happening? Well, we're going to put all of our uh, old licensed library of Sonic music onto uh, you know Spotify and every major streaming platform. Here, guys, use it however you want. <laughs> So I'm like, I, I appreciate them so much for that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Landis, I did see earlier, um, you were saying uh, uh, that you're trying to collect PS Vita stuff. Uh, I, so me and my sister were talking about this the other day. Uh, I actually, she's actually like kind of kicking herself. Uh, she was like, I wish I had never gotten rid of my uh, PSP uh, originally. Like, she kept a lot of the games, but I uh, got rid of it. Uh, she wished we would have kept it because now it's kind of becoming like a thing to collect for and keep. Uh, but she did keep her PS Vita. Uh, it's just always hard to find games right now just because it, I guess it didn't sell as well or it's not as like popular with like retro game stores at the moment. So it's really hard to catch up on that library of games. Uh, but yeah. I would say go get one. That's going to be the generation to collect right now. Everything that came out during that Wii U era, uh, go ahead and pick it up now because it's going to be the next thing that gets expensive because GameCube games are just like a lost cause right now. Like you're paying full price for that game, $60 or more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, a lot of games didn't because I think they were really trying to push the whole... Um, uh, what do you call it, like, digital uh, platform. I think they were, like, just a few years ahead of the curve. Like, if that had come out now, a lot of people would be all over it. Uh, but it's it's just funny, because the PSP was doing what the Switch is doing now, years before. Uh, <laughs> and it's, I remember when we all thought the Switch wasn't going to sell well. I was part of that camp. Like, Nintendo's lost it, man. They're not going to sell another big console. Oops, <laughs> it's already on its way to being one of the biggest consoles. Uh, I don't think it'll ever beat the PS2, though. I don't know if any console will ever beat the PlayStation 2. <laughs> that was just that was just like a very specific time in gaming that I don't think we'll ever, ever recapture. <laughs> uh, yeah, but nah, no. I think we're all good, but... Guys, no, those are some really heckin' good, like, memories. Like, I'm glad we all have, like, really cool, like, first gaming experiences. Um, <laughs> now, the better question for that is all, like, what game did you first, like, get good at? Because Lord knows, just because I had my first video game memory doesn't mean I was good. Uh, and this is just, like, family, like, story. Uh, they always say, like... I originally was super bad at uh, the original Mario Brothers. Like, I could not make it over the first pit. <laughs> I would always ask for, like, uh, my grandparents or such to help me, like, jump over it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, that That's a whole nother conversation that, that we should have sometime about... Uh, about games that we first got good at. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm glad everyone's in here tonight. Thank you for all, like, rolling in and, uh, just chilling. I love these Thursday night streams because we just kind of get to vibe out and connect. Uh, before we jump into tier list, like, uh, I know we got, like, sidetracked with the question, but anything interesting going on, um, with anyone lately? Like, what have you all been up to? <laughs> I know today, like I said, I was... Recovering my fingers and, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, catching up on sleep from last night's insane stream, but. And guys, no, I'm totally not asking while I get everything together for our, uh, for our tier list tonight. <laughs> Dude, yeah, um, I saw that. Uh, it was snowing in Texas. Uh, like some parts got, so I grew up originally in the South, uh, uh, in the South, uh, 
of the United States. And I know how it can be. Sometimes you get like, you know, six inches of snow or whatever, and everything shuts down for like three, four days. Uh, some of the reports though I was seeing in Texas, it was like barely like salt bay, like just a little dusting and people were losing their minds. I was like, come on everybody. It's, it's okay. Like it's dangerous. Yes. Cause of the sleep, but we've been through this before. This always happens every year. It snows at least once a year in the South. Um, and I just laugh because everyone always freaks out the same exact way. And you would think we would pay attention to the forecast, just be like, okay, it's going to snow. You know what? I'm not going to go out in that. But every time there's someone that gets out because they have their four wheel drive and they think they can get on the freeway and all the time it happens. <laughs> yeah, Landis, I heard, um, the East Coast is just like getting a bunch of FU weather. Like Massachusetts is just getting this, like uh, Western Mass is getting like just a bunch of like FU snow. <laughs> and dude, you're finishing up a new escape room build for March? A nice. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Uh, you gotta make it as hard as possible. Like make it make it impossible to beat. Like, I wanted a Rubik's Cube card. <laughs> uh, oh, it should be in there for you, uh, uh, for you, Colin. I think you have to do, uh, two, 2,000 right now. And yeah, Minnesota hasn't had a break from anything. Uh, this isn't as bad as some years for them, though, when, um, it, uh, when it was like super sub-zero temperatures for like, and sub-zero Fahrenheit, by the way, sub-zero temperatures. Uh, and then it's kept snowing all the way into like April. I think it was like 2019. Uh, it just kept snowing and snowing and snowing and snowing like non-stop. <laughs> that was insane. All right. Ah, oh, shivy. Yo, first of all, hey, welcome into the chat. <laughs> welcome into the chat. So good to see you here. It was so cool talking to you like earlier today. So thanks for hopping in. Rue Crew, everybody. It's Shibby's first time in here. Uh, show him some love. Give him some hearts. Can I get a heart spam in the chat? Just show, show a newcomer some love there. <laughs> show him how we do. Um, and oh. Oh, we got some renewals. Oh, we got some renewals. Okay, so first, hydrocity me, which means I gotta take a water break, so. Thank you, thank you. With all this talking, it's always so hard. <laughs> it's always so hard to uh, stay hydrated. And then, uh, Shibby, you also um, uh, did party favor. So, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, go ahead and take one. Take one. Go ahead and grab one. It's uh, it's yours. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead and grab one. We got a bunch of party, uh, a bunch of party favors. So, go, this is your uh, your free whistle here. I'll I'll shove it here through the mic. Just eh. there. It's teleported to you. <laughs> we have a lot of dorky fun on here. <laughs> I hope you picked a good one uh, out of there. So. Uh, yes, and Colin, um, thanks for that. So you redeemed That's No Good. I uh, actually forgot to turn that one off for tonight since it's a, a chatting stream, but I got that. I'm gonna remember for Monday stream when we're playing Pokemon uh, that you did that. So don't worry, tune in on Monday uh, and you will get to choose uh, something I can't do uh, in the game for a while. <laughs> so there, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that then. <laughs> oh, and I got a posture check. Thank you. Ah, uh, you all, you all spoil me. You take such good care of me. I appreciate you so much. I'm gonna have good posture. 
I'm gonna be hydrated, maybe too hydrated, and we have to take a restroom break. Who knows, but gosh, if I am not gonna be healthy at the end of this night. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. And dude, yes, yes, you hear it in the background. This is totally Big the Cat's uh, music. And I I can't wait to get to that on, um, on our Sonic Marathon, because we're so close. We have one more, um, mid 90s era game uh, to play before we finally get to Sonic Adventure. And so that's gonna be a whole time and a half. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> so yeah. And yeah, since we have quite a few people in here uh, that just joined, uh, like I'll throw it in there again if you wanna uh, hop into the Discord ship. Uh, I just got it set up for us for tonight, so. Just letting everybody know it's out there and um, if there's any issues like getting in, uh, I'll be sure to uh, get that all fixed up for us. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and uh, uh, call it, oh man, save your, uh, <laughs> save your, save your points, but you don't want to blow them all, all in one night, but oh gosh, Cloak of Mystique, oh. Oh boy, <laughs> that is uh that was that was a fun one last night to have to do that for the uh for the rest of the stream, uh and uh actually Colin yes I do, there you go, uh that's the link to the YouTube channel, uh I actually uh upload a lot of these past videos there, uh so if you're Unable to catch me live, uh, I do upload uh, videos onto the YouTube channel of uh, some of the past streams, some of the ones that are able to be uploaded on there, I'll put on. Uh, usually at the end of the week, uh, they'll be on there uh, so that you all can get caught up for the next week for any gaming streams or anything we do during the week. Uh, also, just keep an eye on the channel because I do have a plan to like grow that and put even more uh, like content on there like some crazy like did you know uh, things since I'm just full of like sonic facts and lore uh, those are things I want to get on there so keep an eye on the channel uh, and uh, there'll be more uh, coming as we move along <laughs> yeah no I can't believe Key stayed up last night just to do that uh, I do have photos of that last night from last night if you uh, didn't get a chance to see it I do have that on my Twitter <laughs> so yeah so that was that was definitely a, uh, a thing and Shivy yes uh, I I too uh, uh, watch game grumps and was a super fan of uh, a lot of their uh, a lot of their uh, playthroughs for like uh, some of the earlier Sonic stuff. Uh, them playing Sonic Adventure was funny. Um, I love that Aaron hated to admit that he liked Sonic Adventure too. <laughs> but I feel him. Like being a Sonic fan is like a love-hate relationship. Like it's like you eternally love this really cool character, but the games, man. Sometimes the games, why do they do this to you? They just, uh. <laughs> They make it so hard. Ah, <laughs> oh, Vern. All right, get some sleep. I know it's it's late for you. It's like going on like almost like ten o'clock for you. So, get some sleep. Uh, and I hope you have a good Friday. Thanks for popping in though. It's good to hear from you. And thanks for taking part in the chat. Oh man. <laughs> Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ship. Uh, I try to I try to keep it exciting here. I try to keep it fun. Uh fun for everyone. So uh yeah, it's 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 been good. It's been good doing this and I'm happy uh here like chatting with you all. So no, thank you. Um and yeah, no Colin was giving like a lot of great um compliments like last night and stuff. It was uh, their first time in the stream and so no, I enjoy you all like as we continue to build like this really cool like uh, family uh, over here and like Rue crew and, and do our thing. So <laughs> if you know anybody else that loves to like nerd out about like Sonic and gaming and video game music, like tell them to come on in. 
Uh, door is always open, and I'm always all smiles here. Like, it's always going to be a chill, positive vibe for you all. So, tell them. <laughs> yes! Breathe tells. Oh, man. Um, we need to get, like, a, uh, uh, an emote for that. A freaking, like, tells, uh... So it can be like, breathe tells, because that was like the theme of last night. We went through so many water levels, and how many times did he drown? How many times? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. But, um... Yeah. 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 I, I was going to say infinity, but I don't have that key on my keyboard so I can't type that in but I, w I was gonna say infinity he drowned like in infinity plus 12 times last night <laughs> but yeah um so um we've all chilled and caught up with the week and everything um I'm curious are you guys ready to get into uh Getting to some talking about some music tonight. Are you guys ready to to rank some uh, some music songs and listen to some really cool music soundtracks? Is this what we're gonna do? I don't know. I don't know, chat. Let me know. Are you are you ready to jump in? You ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So let me just finish getting a few things set up here. Take the we'll take this music down and get our stuff ready for uh, tonight's uh, theme. So let me get this adjusted and get that brought up. So tonight we are doing a head to head. <laughs> um. We are uh, doing one of the games we played earlier uh, in the week, uh, Sonic CD. Uh, if you showed up for that, it was a really cool game from the early 90s um, that has the uh, fortunate or unfortunate um, curse of having two different soundtracks depending on what side of the earth that you grew up on. So if you grew up on in the uh, American continents, you had a completely different soundtrack than anybody in uh, Eastern Europe and uh, like uh, Japan and those countries. So two different things. So we have both had two different sides of history with the music soundtrack and I thought it'd be fun because this is always a debate. Always a debate that goes down. I kid you not. Uh, of which soundtrack is better. <laughs> uh, and so, like, uh, and no, Kaji, don't. <laughs> oh, no. But, uh, yeah, no, it's always a debate. Uh, which is uh, which is better? Uh, the American Sonic CD soundtrack or the Japanese Sonic CD soundtrack? So, since one of the main things I like to do here on the channel is talk about music and expose everybody to a bunch of great music, I figured, yeah, let's, let's, you know what, chat? We'll, we'll make the choice. We'll, we'll listen to this stuff. We'll decide it. And some of you, it may be your first time hearing it, so it'll be even more unbiased. So that means we can literally say, hey, this one has the most uh, solid tracks. This is the better one. And yes, uh... I actually like um, the combined version, Colin, of a Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I saw you talking about that in chat. Um, but there are some advantages Sonic 3 has over it. Maybe that's one we'll have to do in the future. And uh, no worries, Shivy. I'll be here in the background. <laughs> I'll be here in the background while you're uh, while you're doing dishes. Oh. Uh, to, oh, dude, Toxic Caves. Toxic Caves is so, so good. So good. That's such a good one. But, uh, you know what? Here's how we're going to do. So, uh, of course, we always use our tier list. We have our S rank, A rank, B rank. Then we go straight to D and E because we don't like putting things at the middle of the road here. We're like, all right, it's either good or it's going down there in the bottom. No one gets to straddle the line here. <laughs> so we have that for the 
uh, Japanese soundtrack and that for the American soundtrack. So here's how it's going to work. Uh, and this is what's going to make it fun. Um, we're going to play uh, each stage's uh, uh, American. Uh, we're going to play each stage, correct? Uh, so first we'll play the Japanese version and then we'll play the American version. And we'll play them about 45 seconds. We don't want to be sitting here like forever listening to music. Well, we could, but you know, <laughs> want to do a bit more than that. Uh, so uh, we'll listen about 40, 45 seconds of the song. Uh, and after that, uh, chat, we will rank them and see where it goes. And yes, this is completely up to you. Uh, <laughs> it's completely up to you. Uh, we'll discuss and try to come to an agreement of where we put it. Uh, so this one's not on me. This one, it's a, a group team effort. So Rue Crew, let's do it. <laughs> and oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to laugh if that happens, that everything uh, ends up in the upper half, call it. And then we have um, that one uh, that one song that is just like sitting down here in E-rank. <laughs> it's like, I'm so lonely. <laughs> All right. But we'll go through uh, each of these in order. Uh, so let's see. We'll start with that looks like the title screen. So let's see, do we have that one? We do. Uh, so this one, well, duh, we'll get to listen to the entire thing because, well, title screen music is never that long. So let's uh, let's get it going with uh, the Japanese version of the Sonic CD title screen. That one, that one we'll start off, we'll start off easy. I think that was pretty fun. That one's always pretty fun and memorable. I don't know. What do you think, chat? What do you think? I think we should put that one. Hmm. It's definitely not E. It's definitely not E. <laughs> I think that one would be, what do you say? Uh, D? Hmm. Maybe B. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty like. <laughs> Is that a D to a B? Because that D tilde V looks like something else, Rio. <laughs> right? It's like, eh, there's a vibe. Yeah. All right. All right, chat. All right, we'll, we'll put it, we'll put it in, we'll put it in B. We'll put it in B. All right, but now I wonder, how does that compare to the American version of this? So let's see. lyrics I like that I like that <laughs> oh gosh so my vote I would put that like a I don't know about you all I would put that as a because like bruh it had lyrics <laughs> yeah they said uh sonic boom why'd they say sonic boom because he's fast <laughs> All right, so we got we got some A's. I got I would say an A. Let's see. Let's see if anybody else Let's see going once, going twice. All right, we're gonna scoot this do 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 up in A. Ooh. All right. <laughs> yeah, I would say A just because that was like 
I felt that one. I felt that one in my soul. <laughs> and I'm not trying to bring nostalgia into it, but that's definitely one I remember from my uh, from my childhood. So, uh, let's see. I do know Sonic CD is very special in that it was one of the first to have like an opening cutscene. So I think that's what this little thing is here. It's meant to be the uh, opening movie theme. So the main theme of the game. So let's see what we got for the Japanese version. Yo, that slapped. <laughs> I agree with y'all, chat. I, yo, I wanna, I wanna put that with S. That was just like, that was some energy. <laughs> That's like what I come to Sonic for. I come for the cheese and I come for the energy and I got cheese and I got energy. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I agree. I agree. S, S tier. S tier. That's just. That is so quirky. I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> so, what is the uh, what is the American version got for us? Hmm. Let's see. Here's the American. <laughs> That's for Sonic. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was that was fire. I I think I have to put that one in S as well. I would say S. I would say S because like that <laughs> That is just too iconic. Like uh I remember hearing that uh version. That's like the first one I heard uh back when I first played Sonic CD because I got it on like Sonic Gems collection on the GameCube, and that was the first version I uh, remember hearing. So for me, like it's a little like nostalgic uh, 
and I heard this one for years until I heard like the Japanese uh, until I heard like the Japanese one. So I think I think that's S. I think Rio's I think Rio's fire. Rio's little fire emoji. I think that puts I think that instantly makes it go up into S. I'm gonna say S. Those those are neck and neck. For different reasons though. For different reasons. But now is where we get into the weird stuff. Because the levels are completely different. And we heard some of the music back uh if you turned into t- Tuesday stream. Yeah, on Tuesday. Wow. That was on Tuesday. Um we heard a bit of the uh, theme, but of course with Sonic bouncing all around and stuff, couldn't really hear like what was going on in the back. So let's hear some of this cra- uh, with this Japanese soundtrack. It already sounds like it's going to be kind of crazy. Uh, so let's hear what, uh, what that uh, original um, Palm Tree Panic sounds like. So that would be the present because each level and Sonic City has four different themes for the same level since you're traveling between uh, present, past, and future. And depending on what you do in the past, you can get a good future or a bad future, which affects the music as well. So let's see. What do you got for me? Ooh. <laughs> I dig this one. I dig this one. That was that was forty that was forty seconds, but dang, if that wasn't a good forty seconds, I feel like Rio. Yes, I feel like give me an open road, I would freaking just like drift. <laughs> like let's go. Uh, also, for some reason, that song seems like it would work really good in a Mario Kart game. Call me crazy, but I think it could make it work. <laughs> Especially if uh, if the beginning build up like lined up right with like when the light turns green, I would be like, just mm, perfection. <laughs> so that total total zoomies, total zoomies. All right, I think that deserve. I think that deservedly puts it up in uh as an A. That's an A. I say it's an A. That's an A. I would put it in an S for speeding ticket, but I don't know. <laughs> we don't we don't condone speeding here, so uh, so no, we're not gonna we're not gonna put it we're not gonna put it that high. <laughs> All right, but what what do you got for me over here? Uh, U.S. version. Hmm. Yeah, it's like really slow for Sonic music. I'm like, eh, eh. It's like a B or a D for me. I don't know. Let's see. What you thinking, Rio? <laughs> yeah, it's like, eh. 
it, it's it's not bad. It's just not not Sonic. That's that's the problem I have with it. <laughs> so so far we're pretty even. We're pretty even. Only two have managed to have like an S. We only have one S rank for each of them. So I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, it has a very chill vibe. Like that's what I was thinking. Like if you put that in a game like Banjo Kazooie or something that was more like open ended, like kind of exploring, I could see that. But in Sonic, I just want to go fast. Like, ha, gotta go fast. Like the Japanese palm tree panic. Holy crap, that just like took off at a million miles an hour. <laughs> but this one, I'm like, I don't want to go fast. I just want to chill. So now I will say um, one thing is that the past timeline, the past music for both of these are the same. So when we listen to the past and we rank it, they'll be going into the same uh, tier on both lists, which may work for which may help or hurt uh, one of these lists. We'll see. So let's see what the past sounds like. I'm saying, I'm saying A. I'm saying A tier for that one. What do y'all think? That was like nice and laid back. <laughs> Yo, Dark, what's up? Thanks for coming in. We're just vibing out and um, ranking some of the uh, A. Nothing, we're just ranking uh, some of the Sonic CD tracks because... Uh, Sonic CD was a game where, depending on which side of the world you're on, so in the Americas or in Japan, you got two different soundtracks, and there's always this argument of which is better. So we're trying to squash that today, and we're going to rank and see whoever has the most S ranks at the end of this battle uh, is going to be the better soundtrack. That's what we're saying. That's our uh, <coughs> science. <laughs> totally not opinion-based. Uh, but yeah, no, it does feel... Oh man, it does feel like a tropical town in Pokemon. All right, so we're throwing that we're throwing that up in A. We're throwing that up in A, and since it's the same uh, on both soundtracks, both of these go up in A. All right, so now we've done present, past. Now we got to see what the good future sounds like. So, uh, Japan, what you got for me? Like, yo, that was, that was fire. <laughs> Cruise ship music, dang. Um, yeah, no, it does. That breakdown, man, I was like, whoever was playing that part, like, think, if they were using, like, live instruments to record this, yo, whoever was playing um, 
doing the piano runs or whatever instrument that was during the breakdown, like, gat dang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, now, Rhea, I know the Sega CD did have CD quality music, but I guess they could still use MIDI sound, uh, even if it's like CD uh, quality, because it would still be like 320 uh, kilobytes per second, but it could still be using MIDI instruments. Either way, someone had to write that. I want to see like what the sheet music looks for like uh, that part of the song. Just nonstop 16th notes. Here you go. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Oh, Dark's going to give it a B. Mm. See, I'm thinking A. What is everyone else in the chat thinking? Where we want to put that? Where we want to put that? Because I'm thinking A because that was kind of, it kind of slapped. I'll go with, I'll go with what we get the most of in chat. I'll go with what we get the most of in chat. I'll say that. Let's do that. <laughs> see because we got cruise ship music mario kart mm, all right so you know what yeah i just will slap it we can slap it in b we'll put that one in b for now and keep it there and see what the u.s version has because truth be told i've listened to the japanese soundtrack so much at this point I can't even remember what the U.S. one sounded like. Let's see. Mm. All right, so the good future in the U.S. Okay, it is a jam once it gets to that. I mean, I'm feeling that ayo, ayo. Like somebody sample that. I need to throw that back. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So we got an A, we got an S. All right. We'll, we'll throw it. Ooh. All right. I'm saying more. I'm saying a definite A, and then a maybe for the S. So I'll, we'll put it. We'll put it in A. So uh oh, guys, the U.S. side is winning so far. It has more good songs. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I like you said A for now. All right. Well, that was a good future. Then what the heck does the bad future sound like? So Japan, give it to me. That was, yo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm weird. I want to stick that in. I want to stick that in S. <laughs> All right. So we're saying we got B's. We got A. All right. All right. B. All right. We'll, you know what? We'll stick it in B. We'll stick it in B. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, okay. The only reason, the only reason I would say uh, we put it in S is because uh, that beginning when it was just the countdown, like the three, two, one. Uh, but then once you get to like the main part of the song, it just kind of loses everything. So yeah, nah. <laughs> The voice samples kind of ruined it, but everything else I was I was kind of feeling a little bit. So, all right. Well, let's see what let's see what we got over here in the U.S. This is the bad feature for the U.S. Yeah, it didn't sound too different than anything else. Actually, so here's the thing. If someone had shown me that, like, without the context of it being Sonic, I would have been like, eh, that's a nice song. That's cool. That's a nice atmospheric song. That's a nice, like, Spyro song. Cool. But if you would have told me it's from a Sonic game, I would have been like, that, sound, that does not sound like going fast or, like, Sonic. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got two Ds. Dark said it's better. Lion King again meets Legends. <laughs> meets Legends of the Hidden Temple, like Olmec over here. All right. <laughs> All right, so no, we got some Ds, so we're throwing, we're throwing, we'll throw the D on it. We'll throw it right there in the D. Ooh, ooh, we got our first D, everyone. All right. Well, that's how we came out with the first stage. So now we're moving on to stage two, which is Collision Chaos. And that's pretty much going to be the rhythm we do every time we'll go present, past, good future, bad future for each one of these. So, all right. Collision Chaos, present, what you got for me from Japan? Let's go. vote is A or is S rank because that that was ooh <laughs> ooh <laughs> that beginning was just ooh <laughs> all right all right yo let's all right let's stick it say A all right <laughs> to slap city yo all right, what do y'all think? Do y'all think, do you think that's worthy of an S rank? I know we're super early on in this this list, but is that is that worthy? Did that slap enough to, to, to make its way up into S or do you think we should leave it in A rank? What y'all think? Cause dang. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Ooh. <laughs> Let me see. All right. Five, four, three. Could be S for the fact that it definitely sounds like Sonic. Yeah. All right. All right, Chad. Give me fine. Give me your final answers. I'm gonna put it. 
<laughs> it was all right. So we saying we saying we saying this. A salsa. S A S A. You know, I think I feel like just judging from what y'all said, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna put that up in S. I feel like I feel like that's it. That's what y'all said. <laughs> so, all right, all right, America, what do you got for me? Don't let me down, cause that was hot. So. Those ran for the same amount of time, by the way. <laughs> Sonic jogging after a long day. I was gonna say Sonic having like a, a existential crisis. <laughs> yeah, that. Mm, that was very hard to follow up after what we just listened to from Japan. So I'm gonna say, yeah, we saying, we saying D, we saying D. What you say, Rio? So far we go. <laughs> Alright. That's two D's. Alright. It's going in D. Ooh. Ooh. US soundtrack. You are not looking so good right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> Alright. Let's bring it into the past. What we got. Uh, there it is. Yeah, that one's still... So, that's what I'm... Have you have you all noticed that so far? That the Japanese soundtrack keeps feeling more Sonic-y? And, like... I don't know. The American version is, like, more, like... Tribally? Atmospheric? Weather channel-y? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I... That, that... I would put that in, like, B. It's kind of fun. For me, I, w I would vote B. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that at the bottom. It's not necessarily bad. It's all right, but it is Sonic-y. So, yeah. All right, so. Put it on in B. And because they're the same for both uh, soundtracks, boop, it gets a B as well. All right. All right, now, Japanese good future, what we got.
okay. It's like, they got me moving. They got me moving. I, yeah. S. S for me. Rio San S. C. Anybody else got one more vote to toss in before we throw it up there? Because, whew. That's, that was smooth AF. <laughs> Dang, you can always rely on Sonic for having good music. All right, we're dropping we're dropping that one up in S. That was just too too good, too good, too good. All right, will the U.S. version let us down again, or will it actually be uh, will it actually be good? Let's see. Uh. Can't believe we left us the same amount of time. <laughs> Sounds like some other soundtrack to the some game in the office. Yeah, it it sounds like somebody that heard one Jimi Hendrix song and then tried to play what they think all Jimi Hendrix songs sound like. Yeah, this is a really good study. And Rio, I was so glad you um you showed up tonight because I know you're super into music. So like this is like definitely like your vibe with like anal uh, analyzing. <laughs> I I don't know. That one was like I would say a B. My vote is uh, B rank, but we could put it D. But it wasn't. I mean, it was kind of flat. <laughs> Like, that didn't make me feel like I really saved the planet, really. It was just kind of like, here you go. I'm like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in D for Donkey Kong Country, A. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll slip it. We'll slap it down there. Yeah. All right. D is where we'll sit, my peoples. So... Let's go on to that bad future. Let's see if it can get down. This is Japanese. That one was okay. It wasn't it wasn't the best, but it is definitely better than anything we've been hearing over here. Yo, Rio, thank you for the chat redeem. All right, hold on. There. I'm hydrated. I feel good. I feel good. Thank you. <laughs> My windpipes are so well taken care of tonight, chat. You take such good care of me. I I appreciate you. <laughs> I'm going to say, okay, thinking about it, I'll, I'll say B. That sounds like a B. Yeah, song B or A? Okay. All right, so uh, B for me, B from you, Rio. Sounds like everyone's kind of like, you know, B. Not the best, but, like, not bad. Definitely better than the other stuff we've been hearing over here from from the U.S. Like, I don't know what's going on with uh, America, but we're not, we're not doing too good. Oh, here's more of this. Put 
this in like D chat. All right, Shivy. No worries. We'll still be here when you get back. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm glad you're having fun over here. I uh, hope your butt stream is going well. Uh, let me know when you get back. Uh, so, yeah, we're. I'm just straight up going to put that in D. Like, it was, but like, that was not enough to save it. <laughs> There was not enough to save that, man. I, oof, oof, mm-mm, I'm saying D. All right, I was like, unless the chat tells me different, we're putting that right down in D. All right, so on to world number three, Tidal Tempest. So I think this is the world you showed up uh, on Tuesday, Rio, where you were like, it's a super fiery place for a water level. Sounds like a 90s R&B jam. <laughs> Straight up sounds 90s R&B. Hey, okay. Okay. That's straight up S. S, I'm gonna say S for like, uh, what do you call it? Midnight Thunder, like sexy, like Sonic should not be getting down like that. Like that is a dangerous song. <laughs> Sonic, you got me feeling some type of way over here. <laughs> Yo, Dark, you redeemed your party favor. I see you getting those chat points. All right, Dark redeemed the party favor. That means that means you uh. That means you get to take one of these. So go ahead, reach in here, grab you, grab you one. Just take, take one, take one, take one of your party favors. You can take it through the camera. Go ahead and grab it. We got more than enough. <laughs> hey, <laughs> grab the handful. Yo, gotta save some for other people. You see, we have a limited supply. We have a limited supply. You cannot be taking all of them. <laughs> And yeah, no, that was a ooh, that was such a hype, uh, hype jam. Yeah, I I won't lie, that was part of what took me a long time in the level because uh, the song was just too good. <laughs> All right, oh lord, here we go. What we got in the uh, what do we have for uh, title Tempest uh, present? <laughs> This is the U.S. version. Make sure we give them all uh, all the same amount of time. Ooh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I would say S, that was like a funkier version of what we just heard. So my vote's S. You say S or A, Dark. And I know uh, Rio, 
It's probably going to be S or A. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. More of a B. All right. We'll have to take the average then. Then that would put it, that would put it in A. If some of it, yeah. <laughs> that, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, do. You know what? I feel like there was somebody, uh, you could totally see them being up in the studio, just being like this. A dun, dun, do. Like they was trying to like really feel it. You know how people be singing when they think they feel in the song, but it's not. It's not that it doesn't go that hard, but they think in their like whole heart and whole chest that they feel in it. They was grabbing the they was grabbing the headphone and everything up in there. That's what I felt. <laughs> All right. All right. So that now we got now we got the past coming up. So what we got in the past? Uh for tuning in. Hope you have fun. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Yeah, hope you uh hope you have fun. Be sure to pop by anytime. Don't be a stranger. Uh oh, yeah. That mm, That's a solid B. It's not it's not offensive. It's not bad. It's not, you know, anything. It's kind of there. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna slip that one on into into B. Yeah. Also, uh, A. I'm gonna hold you to it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on Monday we're playing more uh, Pokemon. We have Pokemon Monday, so we're playing more RCS Legend and then more Sonic uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. So feel free to raid anytime and throw some uh, redeems my way when we're gaming to try to trip me up. <laughs> yes, yeah, <it's> Pokemon Monday. <laughs> but you know what, chat? What I'm loving right now about the, these photos is when this happens right here uh on over right over whoa, oh, oh, right when it lines up over here on the b rank like it lines up just so smooth like straight across over here on the u.s side that's uh that's a vibe <laughs> that makes my uh ocd very happy all right japanese good future what we got good i don't know i wouldn't put that anything less than a <laughs> that drop when the uh after the kick beat when it dropped in ooh, ooh, so good Ooh, all right a or s Ooh, all right i said s then you said s so that one goes up in s us you gotta stop letting me down give me give me something to work with Give me something to work with. All right. All right, good future. There we go. Sounds so 90s.
those 45 seconds. Uh, I, I agree. I'm saying D. I'm throwing it down in D. Throwing it down in D. Because, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No. No. The MIDI, uh, the MIDI horns. I was done. I was done at the MIDI horns. I could not. <laughs> I was like, when is the 45 uh, time part, time check going to get here so we can just know? So, yeah, that was pretty cut and dry. Nah, I don't want to hear any more of that one. We don't have to debate it. <laughs> All right, so now, bad future. What do we got? Japanese. Yo, that legit sounds like the Party Boy theme. If you remember from back in the day. <laughs> it sounds like the Party Boy theme, chat. Oh, my God. That's a... Uh, ooh. Oof. What do you think? Mm, I'm thinking low... Yeah. I'm thinking either low B or our first D on the Japanese soundtrack side. It definitely sounded, uh, what do you call it? Like it fits the atmosphere, but that's about it. Uh, I'd say D. I'd say D. Like it wasn't, I'm not going to listen to that outside the game. <laughs> These up here though, yo, they slap. So, all right, maybe will this be the U.S.'s chance to finally, finally take home, take home another win? Let's see. Those samples are so weird. I want to know who is directing them in the studio. But, uh... Yeah. I... I'll say B. Hey, all right, Shibby. Thanks for tuning in. Yo. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. You can come back anytime. This is fun. It's fun having you around. Uh, oh, oh, oh! I, speaking of water levels, I gotta get, I gotta get hydrated. Hold up, hold up. Hey, thank you. Always looking out for me. All right, you get some, you get some sleep, and I'll see you back. Uh, <laughs> and I'll see you back here. Uh, hopefully next week, so we can vibe some more. Uh, on Monday. Yeah. All right. I'll see you around, dude. Take care. <laughs> All right. Whew. I hydrated so much during that water level. I'm going to need to add in a, uh, a channel redemption for, uh, <laughs> for using the bathroom at this point. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Chat, we gotta talk. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna keep me too hydrated. There are things that happen when you hydrate too much. <laughs> All right, Quartz Quadrant is the next one. Let's go, Quartz Quadrant pet present Japan. Let's hear it.
seconds left song. Show me what you got. You yeah, there it was. There it was. Ooh. Also, key. No. Why won't you? Why won't you? Uh, why won't you redeem the water? Don't you love me? Don't you want me to stay hydrated? How dare you? How dare you? Yes. It did, and the only the only reason it would probably work better, but we got uh, we were only given each song like forty five seconds. So sadly, sadly, <laughs> I don't think we got too into it. Oh, you would never redeem the bathroom break, you monster. <laughs> you monster <laughs> how dare you all right that's why that's why now i'm going to subject you to this uh the u.s version of this soundtrack because so far it has not been doing good so let's see an open and a half no 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 <laughs> yeah basic yeah nah that was like so I've heard both soundtracks before and I've never sat down and listened to each one like comparative like comparing them one to the other man what is going on with the US soundtrack like there's so many whack rhythms. <laughs> and I hate to say that, but there's so many whack rhythms. Like, you hear over here, like, there's some misses over here on the Japanese side, but, like, at least everything sounds sonic-y, and everything has kind of been some bangers. Over here is all over the place, like, clearly. Over here on the U.S. side, like, we got everything all over the place. That was, that was, I don't know. Nah. Nah. All right, pass, give it to me. Where are we at? Hey. smooth that was smooth <laughs> that one was smooth i like that that's like an a for me i like that sample uh whatever sounded like a a, a recorder like a little recorder flute like i like that sample and that break beat so yeah yeah i'm gonna say a as well rio i agree we're gonna we're gonna scooch that on up into a <laughs> a little toot, just toot, 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 toot. <laughs> and dang it, because it exists on both soundtracks, the, uh, what do you call it? The U.S. version gets the advantage of having that. So that was the past, so they're both like, uh, uh, they both get A, yeah. That's a weird thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just, oh, mm, good for them. Yeah. <laughs> A 
Look, they take what they can get. They take what they can get right now. So, all right. So now we got good future for Quartz Quadrant for the Japanese side. Lay it on me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying like A or B cuz yo, that was that was fire. Uh but yeah, know that beginning Straight up sounded like the uh, same sample that they used in every uh, R&B tune between 1999 and 2001. Straight up. <laughs> so Sonic did it first because this game is from 1993. Uh, and that wouldn't be the first time that anything from Sonic has been sampled. Uh, if y'all don't know... Drake actually sampled a song from Sonic. He used a, a sample in there. Uh, I think it was on the Take Care album. He actually sampled uh, in one of his uh, tracks. And he had to give credit, literally. Like, if you look deep in there, it says credit. Sample used, aquatic bass, Sonic the Hedgehog, circa 2006. Not even kidding. True facts. <laughs> but we'll stick that down in B. Yeah. I love how everyone was like, I was S until I wasn't. <laughs> that beginning, though, that was strong. That was strong. Oh. oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We got Now we got to listen to the U.S. Okay. Okay. They haven't given me much hope. <laughs> supposed to be good future. Mm, that was the good future uh, for Quartz Quadrant, which is like basically a mining level. That was, that was weird. That's a D for me. That's a D for me. Anybody else? Anybody disagree? Does, does my jury, does my chat jury disagree? Because I'm, I'm sticking that right in D like that. That was just weird. <laughs> that was so weird. That sounded like it, um, the beginning sounded like it'd be something in like Ratchet and Clank. Like not even, not even a Sonic game. Also, Rio, I'm loving hearing like just your like initial like reactions. You and Dark, like y'all's reactions to this, uh, to this US soundtrack is just like cracking me up. <laughs> All right, let's get some bad future up in here. How are they going to break it down over in Japan? Here we go. Okay, okay, go ahead, Sonic, go off. 
go up, yo. Literally the part before it picked up double time, I was like, yo, that's a pop lock drop beat. Like, let's go. I'm ready to just, mm, just ta da. <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right that was kind of a, yeah s s just because of that one part like that totally sounded like a, a bounce beat and a money that's so good yo hit me uh hit me up um dm me tomorrow uh and we'll chat so we can uh set that up so we can talk about it offline <laughs> All right, but that's good to hear. Also, how was your day? I hope you had a good one. We're, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much you've been tuning in, but yeah, we're we're uh, comparing the soundtracks, the Japanese Sonic CD soundtrack against the U.S. Uh, Sonic CD soundtrack and seeing which is better based on the number of S ranks. And it's starting to become a runaway match here. So let's see what, uh, what the bad future holds for Quartz Quadrant on the U.S. side. Here we go. More of this. Sounds like the main theme from Terminator Judgment Day. Straight up sounds like that guitar sounds like the one from uh, Terminator Judgment Day. <laughs> or not Terminator Judgment Day, uh, Terminator 2. The doom 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 doo doo. Doom 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 doo doo. <laughs> we can throw that in B. It wasn't bad. It was just not as good as anything we were hearing over here. But we'll, we'll drop that in B. We'll drop that in B. It was I. It was just I. All right, so next area that we will go to is Wacky Workbench. Now, this is my least favorite stage in Sonic CD because basically the entire bottom of the level is a giant spring, and you can't, there's no place to really stay still. But that's another discussion for another time. But let's see. What we got over here in the wacky workbench present. Yeah, yeah, that sounded very wacky. Also very industrial. You know, as weird as that one is, chat, let me know if you disagree. I want to throw that one in A. Does anybody out there disagree? Yeah, I'm going to say A, because I actually, for, call me weird, but I like the vibe of that one. <laughs> So we'll stick it in A for now. But let's see what the U.S. has. Gosh, come on. U.S., please. Just give me something. Give me something to work with. Like... <laughs> Apples are back.
<laughs> Yo, US is kill the US soundtrack is killing me with these sound with these voice samples. Like Yo, <laughs> it is a decent, it is a vibe. It is a vibe. I will put that in A because it is a vibe and it's 90s AF. So I agree with you, Rio. That is a vibe. I'm just, these voice samples are killing me because like, I just know they're in the studio trying so hard and just like pushing those notes out. And I'm like, yo, nah. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for the past. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah that was wild actually like me personally that's also an A for me just cause I like that at the uh, beginning like that was I like that sample over here uh, the Japanese soundtrack is sounding very like 90's club like a lot of these sound like they could be in like Streets of Rage, especially that song. That sounds like it would be something like in Streets of Rage. If somebody put that in there, I would not be like, uh, what do you call it, phased at all. So we'll put that one there. So, all right, put it in A, and that means, hey, guess what, US? You get a little bit of a break because you got another A, even though you didn't work for it. <laughs> All right, let's let's go to the uh, good future. Those are usually popping. Those are usually nice. What do we got? What do we got for Japanese? <laughs> It didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. I'll put it... I'm going to say that is like a... A top tier B. Because that was, that was pretty nice. I like the way it started out. It was cute. Alright, and then... What do we got on the US side? U.S. for once, please, just, just give me a good one. I think we got our first like okay one. <laughs> I think that I think that's a B as well. I feel like those are pretty fairly matched. 
in different ways. Like there's no, yeah, yeah. We'll put that one as a B because like it was it was good. I'll put it uh, up here. It'll be an upper B just because it's an original track for the U.S. You get a break, U.S. Look at you. You finally have one that's not in, like, the lower tiers. <laughs> All right. But now what we got What we got for a bad future? This is Japanese. Dang. Yo, that sounds creepy AF. <laughs> I want to put that in A just because, yo, that sounds creepy AF. And if I got a bad future uh, and had to go somewhere super evil and run by like a metal overlord, like frick, that would make me like pee myself. <laughs> I'm going to stick that. I'm going to stick that right here, right here in A because woo. Oh boy. Unless Majuri has any other uh has any other rebuttals, like that is oof. Just oof. <laughs> so we'll put that we'll put that there. And then what does the bad future from the US sound like? Hmm. Oh. Let's see. There you are. Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh, where's the bat? There it is. everybody thank you jd for the raid welcome everybody we are inside of e-ranked the weekly tier list show where we rank things head to head uh and it's me against chat to see if we can come up with the best choices welcome to the bounce house hope you're all having a good time i hope you had a good stream over there <laughs> i am enjoying the puppo raid Thank you, JD, for the follow as well. And good to see you, everybody. <laughs> hey, Dante. Good to see you. Hey, Slayer. How was the stream? Oh, thank you for the follow as well, Dante. Oh. <laughs> I hope your stream went well over there. Uh, doing some uh, escape room things. I hope it went well. Uh, like I said, we're listening to uh, Sonic CD uh, soundtrack. We're comparing the Japanese version against the U.S. version. And man, oh man, have we heard some stinkers out of the U.S. version of the soundtrack. What we got back in the 90s was nothing compared to what Japan got. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, you played What the Golf? Nice. Oh, sorry about the midstream crash, though. Ugh. At least you got to play the game. What's worse is when the game crashes and you can't even play it on stream. Uh, I haven't had I had that once when I was doing a test stream. I was trying to play like a uh, a fan game and I couldn't get it to run, and it was <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> All right, so that that was a stinker. I I I did not like that one. <laughs> 
one bit as we rank this we're gonna throw that throw that right in right in d as we rank some of these songs so so what we're doing let me explain the rules uh because you all are hanging around like i said we're ranking songs so because these are two different soundtracks each stage gets 45 seconds to show its stuff and then we throw it up somewhere in the tier. And at the end, whichever soundtrack has the most S ranks, we will declare the winner and report it back to the Sonic fan base so we can stop our eternal arguing. I am putting a piece to this war so we can go argue about the size of Sonic's quills next week again. <laughs> but all right. Next up, that was Wacky Workbench. Let's do Stardust Speedway. We're going to start off with the Japanese soundtrack. Uh, since Japan has been able to go first this whole time. So let's start off with Stardust Speedway present and see what it's got. Show me. That's an S. That is an S. That is an S. That's a straight up bop. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that was a straight up bop. There's no reason to discuss that chat. I think I think that's S. JD's JD's icon says it all. I feel you grooving. I'm like, mm. I couldn't sit still during that whole one. So we're going to put that in S for the J Japanese soundtrack. Good lord, what does the uh, American soundtrack have? Okay, that's 45 seconds. Nah, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> Sonic hasn't tied his shoes yet? Yo, right? Can we go back to the other one? <laughs> We're gonna put that straight up in, like, D. That's a D. That was just, like, that doesn't even have anything to do with the feel of Sonic. You know what? I kind of want to... The other one is so good. I kind of want to listen to a little bit more of it. We'll we'll go like until it loops back, chat. So hold up, I because I, I kind of like the Japanese one. It was so good. Let's just see the crazy difference between these two. <laughs> God, that's just, oh, that is just oozing 90s, like, oozing 90s, like, <laughs> if I ever have children, and then, like, I tell them, they're gonna be like, what was the 90s like? I'm just gonna play that song and be like, this, this, this was the early 90s, and no, I think that was, that was bass, yeah, 
and the samples, man, just ooh. God, that uh, that piano and the bridge is just it's perfection. America, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm not with it. All right, so the U.S. soundtrack may get a break because, as I've been saying, the past versions of the stages are the same in both versions of the game. So let's see. Let's see what we got in the past. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh, straight up to S. Straight up to S. Just, we went from um, horns to just straight up sax in that harp. Oh, my God. Oh, just oozing. And I guess because the U.S. version has the same song, it gets an S, too. It's like, it's like giving it a gold star. It's just like, oh, here you go. Oh, you, you did good. It's like a, you know what this is? You know what this is? This is like a group project. This is like a group project. So the Japanese soundtrack did all the work, and the U.S. is kind of like, I contributed. Don't I get some points too? It's like, no, you contributed to getting the A. You did not work for the A. The Japanese version over here worked for the A. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the Japanese good future. So now, now we'll see what that is. Please keep on slapping. Too good. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't want that to end, but. I gotta be fair. Everyone gets the same time. Everyone gets the same amount of time. But whoa, ooh, 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 that was so good. Ooh, I already know the U.S. is not gonna top that. Like, that was bliss. If you like, that is like what I. If someone described to me like, what's music bliss to you? Like everything that we just heard in those forty-five seconds. Like that is like music heaven for me. <laughs> Dang. Oh. So good. Okay. All right. Stardust Future. Uh, here we go.
Okay. Does anybody feel like that should have been the original present song? That should have been the original present song than whatever that uh, marimba Sunday brunch club vibe was. Yeah, I, I'll put that one in A. That was pretty good, actually. It had a vibe. But that, yeah, the mid part is what saved it. The mid part is what brought it from, like, down here to, like, a B or an A. It definitely got better as it went on. It has, it cannot possibly touch the, uh, the, uh, Japanese version. You'd be it. All right. All right, I'm getting some Bs. I'm getting some Bs in chat, so we'll put it down here in B. Because <laughs> it got worse after that mid. Yeah, but that build up to the mid was like nice. But then, yeah, it just went back to eh. All right. Now we got the bad future. So if you didn't do what you were supposed to do in the past, now you get a bad future. Let's hear what that sounds like for Stardust Speedway. Is Stardust Speedway going to have a clean sweep and everything make it into S rank? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Chat, I'm in heaven right now. I'm in heaven. All of those are too good. Those are too good. Those are so good. <laughs> that was so good. Okay. Yo, that was hype. That was hype AF. Okay. <laughs> We are jamming. This was a good, yo, this was a good list. This was a good list. <laughs> right? I want to do like the song says and just like keep turning it up. Like blow my speakers out. <laughs> Doctor's going to be like, why are your eardrums sore? I was pumping Tarda Speedway for five hours. <laughs> All right. All right, US. You can't possibly touch that, but it's, it's a, here's your participation project. That's what's wrong with it. Like it's leveled, it's leveled so badly. <laughs> it's leveled so bad. Like it should be like boom, 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 boom. Like it should, it should hit. Like that kick drum should be. Like here, here, here. Let, here's a quick example of what the kick should sound like. Like let's go back to the Japanese version. Like it should be in my ear, and this is just. So far away, like, oh, it was like, you know what that was? You know what the U.S. version is? Let's see. Yeah, that was the equivalent of musical edging. Like, it was just, it was like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to drop. We're going to kick it. We're going to kick in. We're going to kick into that middle eight. We're going to, we're going to, uh, sorry. No, no. I just want to keep repeating. I just want to keep repeating. Oh, we're getting close to that middle eight. Ah, ah. Nope, nope. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> JD, oh my God, JD. I appreciate you so much. Yes. Edging. <laughs> this edging isn't fun. We're throwing that down in D just for the fact of how it disappointed me. Yeah, I love yard work. Like edging up the sidewalk is so therapeutic, right? Mm. <laughs> All right. Like, as you can see, Japanese soundtrack is still throwing out like banger after banger the u.s soundtrack is all over the place literally all over the place <laughs> i love that wink jd all right so now we've made it to the final level it's uh eggman's base so we will we will do that we will do that and then we got some um actually Y'all want to get some of these weird, like, uh, stage clears and, like, boss music before we go to the last level? You want to get some of those out the way? I think we should get... Yeah, yeah. Let's let's get some of those out the way. Before we go to the last level, yeah, let's get the quickies out. All right, so we'll start with the... This is the uh, uh, boss battle. So the one that comes at the end of Act 2. So let's see. Where is that at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it is. All right. So here's the Japanese boss theme. <laughs> That is the weirdest thing but I actually kind of rock with it. <laughs> I'll say that's a B. Like, it's not bad. It's just weird AF. But it's not bad. Chat? Do y'all... Yeah, B? B? Okay. All right. My chat army, my Roo crew, Roo crew says B. So we're putting it in B. Though that was weird. All right. What is the boss music for the U.S.? Jesus. Okay. Uh, invincible speed up. Uh, Uh-oh. Does the U.S. not have a boss theme? Mm, let's see. I may have to do this. All right. We'll find it, chat. Hold on. U.S boss music all right here we go actually kind of creepy that sounds like a boss that that's like a tier yeah it is it's more like it's fighting down it's like the music's ending it's like oh we actually have to fight a mad scientist who's literally trying to control space and time to take over the world yeah i that that is a that is a that is an a tier also thank you rio for the uh for the chat redeem i got my water Thank you for taking care of me. 
All right. So that was okay. So that was that. Uh, we'll save the final boss fight for after we do the final level. That's the end theme. Oh, special stage. Okay. So special stage for the Japanese version. Lego. <laughs> Okay, that slaps, that slaps. <laughs> if not S, that's definitely A, that slaps. <laughs> Especially that breakdown. Once it got to the breakdown, I was like, yes, I could listen to that part on loop just like forever. I'm gonna put it as like, I'll put it as mid A tier. We'll, we'll do mid A tier. Like it's not the best, but like, I could see myself humming that one. All right, US. Please stop disappointing me. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Chad, that's the right one. Ugh, ugh. Dude, I think I found the right word for the US version. It just sounds stale. It sounds so stale. Like, it never goes anywhere. And then, like, you listen to the Japanese version, and it's like someone threw open the window. Like, like granted, they're not all hits, but at least they sound like they made an effort. These just sound so stale. I am, that is not a booper or a bopper. I I feel like that's an E. I feel like that's an E. That was a letdown for me. <laughs> I'm putting it in E unless chat, unless you say something else in the next few seconds, it's sticking in E. Cause that was just you. We got us an E rank. <laughs> Ugh, okay. <laughs> Let's see, uh, E for you, yes. Uh, all right, stage clear. That's the neck. That's what Eggman is with that thumbs down. All right, so here's the Japanese version. This may sound familiar. <laughs> yeah, you may know that one because it uh, it's my uh, my raid theme. I have a personal love for that one. Uh. Easy peasy, pretty good. Piece of cake, it's an A. You just heard it? <laughs> a, yes. Um, all right, so that was the US. Yeah, you can tell I have a, a partial like love for that one. So let's see what the US uh, stage clear, stage clear, US stage clear. Ooh, okay, I don't have it on this list, so we'll have to search it on up. Let's see, Sonic CD, US, zone clear. There we go. Why does it sound like it's doing the most? <laughs> With the time it has. <laughs> it 
It's like, let's let's cram everything we can into like eight seconds. Freaking America. Let's overdo it. Nah. <laughs> like, why does nothing have any punches? America, stop pulling the punch in your kick drum. That is a D tier. That is a D tier. Don't don't give me that. All right. Invincibility. Let's go. Japan. What you got? Okay. Easy peasy. That's like a B. That was pretty nice. That was a rendition of the main theme. I mean, it's, uh, what do you call it? It's invincibility theme, so it's not like we got much we can, uh, we can do with them. But let's hear the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The U.S. version. was cute okay you know what us we've been hating on you for a bit that you get a nice b that was that was nice that was cute uh the platform for this game was the sega cd so it was the cd attachment that you put onto your sega genesis uh that allowed it to play uh cd quality music so everything came out at 320 uh kilobytes yeah, I didn't get <laughs> plus one, JD. All right. Second place. <laughs> I'm dying. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, no, no, it's not the, it's not the second PlayStation. <laughs> they did nothing with that audio benefit. No. Think about this. In 1993, you were able to execute CD quality music two and a half years before PlayStation would make it mainstream. The Japanese soundtrack took every advantage of that that they possibly could. And the U.S. soundtrack just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> now, there is confirmed that they recorded this entire U.S. soundtrack in a month, composed and recorded it in a month, and it sounds like it. Meanwhile, Japan over here spent, I think, eight the full development time of the game, which was like a year and some change, to compose their version. So you can definitely tell why. Why is the U.S. still being the U.S.? Why do we do this to ourselves? All right, let's let's get back happy with some uh, speed up. I do appreciate that it's not just a faster version of the stage music. <laughs> like that one feels fierce. That's a that's a B rank. There's not much you can do with that. That's it's it it didn't suck. So that's, that's, that's whoa Jap whoa whoa Japanese. I mean U.S. soundtrack. I'm gonna need you to wait your turn. Wait your turn. Like the rest of the class. <laughs> I mean, the, I don't know what drum sample they used for the U.S. version, but eh, I'll, I'll cut him a break. I'll give that a B. It actually sounded fast for once. All right. 
All right, Chad, these last two down here, they don't count. They're not found in the original Sonic CD, so we're not going to count them. They're just random, like, throwaways. These don't even really have track songs, so we're not going to count those. Uh, so the last one of the, the quick stuff is Game Over. All right, what does it sound like when I just fail and lose? Let me know, Japan. How do you treat me? How do you treat me? Ooh, okay. That definitely sounds like I failed. Like I failed a lot. <laughs> it's very interesting. I don't know. I uh, Hi, D. Like, uh, yeah. 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 You D it? JD, this is a family chat. <laughs> Language. Language. <laughs> All right, America, let's see what you got. Chad, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what was that? That was so like... Oh, <laughs> you loser. Oh, I gotta stretch. Ah, oh. oh, thank you, Dark. Oh. Yeah, dude, if I was like five... I need to stretch the fear away. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, if I was like five years old and I heard that, like at two in the morning, like trying to stay up and sneak play games, I would literally be too scared to play the game ever again. Like I would literally pee myself. <laughs> Oh, Nightbot, Nightbot, why do you always come up when we're talking about the U.S. soundtrack? We dig the vibes of the Japan soundtrack. We're not digging the vibes of the U.S. soundtrack. Like, come on. That, that was, oof. Man, that, oomph. But, all right, chat. That was all the small fries out the way. Now here comes the final act. Here we go. Here we go with the final act. We're getting ready to do what we came to do. Uh, which is Battle of the Final Zones. So, Metallic Madness, uh, Japanese, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what this voice, the vocal samples were in the background, but I like the uh, the synth hits. <laughs> but that was a trip. Wow. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah, I was. I would say it was an A, but the voices put it at like a B. I'm gonna put it like as a. Better than all this junk, I'll put it as like a low B in the lower half of our our Bs. We'll put it down there. All right, so maybe maybe the U.S. this will be its time to redeem itself. I feel like with a a, a level name like Metallic Madness, we'll be able to 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 redeem ourselves. <laughs>
America, what is wrong? D for it never dropped. Like, I was literally counting the eights, and I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> the drop was silence. The drop was the silence. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. All right, let's go back to the past. What do we have? Because, oh, God, that was so bad. That was like a breath of fresh air after all that mess we just heard. This is like, that last one makes me so mad because this is like the final stage. Like, it should sound like, yo, we're here. We're for the final battle. But it didn't. This sounded really good. I'll put this. This is another B. Well, actually, I don't know. I want to say A. I'm going to, you know what? I want to put it in an A. Chat convinced me otherwise, but I want to say it's A because it's like the other one, but without the weird voices. <laughs> so we actually get to like appreciate it without being like, what you said? <laughs> so, all right. A, that was a, that was a fine track. All right, now, so that was the past. So now we have the good future. All right, good future, what do we got? We're saving the world, come on, it's the final level. God, that's the Japanese version. Yes. Yes, Rio. So basically, if it's sounding like good, it's the Japanese version. Boy, when it got to that uh that bridge, ooh. Oh, that was so oh, so delightful. Man. All right, that sounds like we just saved the world. Uh, now it's time for the US good future, Rio. Here we go. Keep your ears perked.
Oh my god. <laughs> JD. JD. Oh, JD. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Every Everybody's reactions, yo. That's why I'm just laid out. <laughs> Someone being whipped in the background. Just... Yeah, no, I'm a... That's a straight up E. That is a straight up E. That is horrible. <laughs> and no, you're not wrong. That wasted so much time. Like, all right, I'm the music theory major. I took a year of it in college. That's about all I got. And, like, I took band for, like, I don't know, six years. But, like, there was so much wasted time with that song. Like, that was literally a waste of music. Like, a waste of music. Like, th the music theory for all of this is all wrong. Like, they have no sense of, like, what makes Sonic Sonic. Like, it's... <laughs> Oh, man. All right. That annoyed me. That annoyed me so much. All right. What happens if we get the bad ending? What happens if we get a bad future? Let's hear. This is Japan. Let's go. That is straight up like, uh, yeah, the voices are just like, I think so. I think what they were going for was for that like 90s house when they would always sample like the voices uh, in the background is what I think they were going for, but they overused it almost, but the beat saved it. The actual song saved it just, but yeah, no, I want a version without the voices too. Like, please edit out the voices, but I, I still put it S tier. Like, that was still, like, that was still pretty good. Uh, yeah, S tier, S tier. Uh, US, you got, all right, one more time. Come on. What is the bad future? What is the bad future? Where is it? There it is. Here's the US version. I sound so excited. <laughs> That was that was that was forty five seconds of uh of something, of something. Exactly, very cool. Cause yeah, I won't take that away from them. Because anybody that's actually tried to do sheet music and like write a song, like from scratch, I mean like literally write a song, and then write that into instruments and put that into like console hardware, quite a feat. I would never take that away from them, but yes, also, it sounds like they did this in a month. Like, let's just, here, let's fill up this space. We got to fill up this space, which I don't even know why they did that. They had this perfectly good soundtrack, this perfectly good soundtrack over here. But okay, that that's a D. That's a D. That just kind of stunk. I don't even know. All right, final boss, final boss. What what is it, please? All right, final boss for the Japanese version. Here we go. <laughs>
Okay. Yo. Yo, the fat lady is singing. That's that's automatically an S tier for me. Unless y'all think otherwise, chat. Tell me where y'all want it. Where, where would y'all put that one? It did sound like a Final Boss song. That is very much Final Boss music. Also, uh, the bass line in that song kind of slaps. You'd A? A? Okay. Okay. A? Rio? Where would you put it? I'm curious. I need one more because we gotta we gotta we got a bit of a tie. I need someone to tie break. <laughs> I see you thinking. You're thinking about it. A, alright. A it goes, everyone, which is still better than this mess over here. Lord. Let's uh Oh, let's see that American uh, version. All right. Oh, God. Where is it? Where are you? Uh, uh, it's not in this list. Oh, there it is. Okay. We don't even need to listen again. No, we don't even... That is straight up... That is straight up the boss music. That is the regular boss music for every single... Uh, for every single... Uh, what do you call it? Stage so far. How is your final boss music going to be a reused track? When... Okay, you, you want to keep going? Okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll listen for that drop. This is just for JD. Nope, it's still the same. Boom. E it goes. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so now, now we got a uh, the final theme, the ending theme. So after that, God, that was such a letdown. That was such a letdown. All right, Japan, please give me a good theme. Like, I saved the world. We beat Robotnik. We saved the world. What, what do we get? What do we get at the end? What do we get at the end? Let's see. Okay. I might let these play a little longer. Gotta do something. 
<laughs> I can't believe we listened to the whole thing. I did not mean to let it go that long, but it just kept getting better and better and better. I I feel like that's an A. I mean an S. I feel like that's an S. I I love that. <laughs> I love that. But I'm a sucker for like J pop, city pop like stuff. So that's an S for me. I don't know. That uh that that uh, gif reaction Rio is all I need to see. <laughs> Mute it. I guess that I'm guess that's you uh, sending in your vote that that's an S uh, S tier. So they were jamming on that, and uh, I like that it was a nice use of. Uh... He said, "Ah, sure." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a jam. Um, and I appreciate that they uh, use the ending stage theme uh, as the main theme for that. It's so good. Hey, you got wiggles and zoomies, awesome! All right, how do you think the uh, how do you think the U.S. soundtrack is gonna end? Let's uh, let's see that. Let's see what we do after we save the world. I think that's all we need to hear of that one. <laughs> it just kind of repeats itself like Sonic Boom. Like, that one's more of a like, yay, the game's over. While the other one was like, yo, you spent all the time to get the good ending. You beat the final boss. Celebrate. Just celebrate here. <laughs> all right. I will put that. Yeah. That one's, I'll say it's a low A. I'll say it's a low A because it's not bad. It's just after hearing the Japanese ending, it's like, yo, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, all right, everyone. This, this is our final, uh, our final rankings. We, we went through all of that, right? All of that. And here's what we came with. So, um, we said that whoever got the most S ranks at the end of this whole head to head duel, based on, you know, what you guys felt, uh, would determine the winner for the soundtrack. So, clearly, clearly, <laughs> it is a runaway winner. It is a runaway winner over here. Uh, with the uh, Japanese soundtrack. <laughs> oh, 
God, that's not even a... It's not even close. Like, ja let's see. Nope. Japan Japanese soundtrack only had two D ranks. Everything else was like good, better, best. Meanwhile, the U.S. had everything pretty much taken up D tier. <laughs> the only things that were saving it in A tier were the past versions, which are credit to the Japanese version. So, oof. Oof. Dang. <laughs> that is horrible. But... Mm. I got it. I know my clear winner was uh, was uh, Stardust Speedway Good Future. Like, god dang. Like, that was just. That one right there, chat. Mm. And so, yeah. I think we did so good with that. <laughs> Alright. I got turned down in my headphones. <laughs> it's, it's super loud now. But, yeah. That was tonight's tier list. Like, what did you guys think? What did you guys think? I appreciate you all. You are a huge, huge uh, help in the great debate. Because this, trust me. This debate comes up every year in the Sonic fandom. Everyone debates, is the American soundtrack better or is the Japanese soundtrack better? And I think clearly, clearly we have a clear uh, winner here. So I'm going to save this list. I'm going to post it and run away because I don't want to be any part of the war that follows. <laughs> but yeah, no, there was no kick. Hey, I see you, Dark, using that hype sticker. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, there was no debate. There was no kick. I'm going to spark the debate for 2022. I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's go. Sonic fandom is on full, like, edge right now with the movie, the show, the game coming out. Like, let's do it. I'm ready to break Sonic Twitter. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh... I could have did that without you all. Like, thank you for being involved and being fun. And um, for everybody that was just chilling out, I um, wanted to hear like a good debate and get some exposure to some of these songs. Like, yeah, thanks for chilling out like during the chat. So, you know, I think I think that time has come. I think that time has come, everyone. I think that time has come where where it's time to to start wrapping up the show. Where it's time to start wrapping up the show. Yeah, <laughs> but that was super fun. Uh, thanks everyone that participated. Thanks for all the chat redeems. Like I said, thanks to everyone that, you know, had this on in the background. I realize, um, you know, we don't owe it anything to anyone to like demand your attention. So it's cool for you to even have this on uh, in the background while you're doing whatever you need to. Whether it's homework, cleaning up the house, straightening up your room, like winding down from the day. Like, I appreciate uh, every bit of it, every follow, uh, every bit of engagement. Like, uh, yeah, I just can't say how much it means to me. Like, just to continue to see this uh, grow more and more and more every week and see all of you join in part of like the Rue crew and. Uh, really turning this into uh, into something. So let's just uh, keep growing. Uh, I hope I uh, make your nights worth it for tuning in and being positive. And yeah, let's just continue to do it. Uh, so uh, just let you know, once again, uh, the Discord is open. I'll be putting a link to it on uh, the channel uh, here on Twitch, uh, as well as everywhere on my Twitter, on my YouTube, so you can access it. Uh, those of you that are official members of the Rue crew and have subscribed, uh, you have access to the secret part of the server, so go check that out and go start some conversations in there. I want to really get that going so that we have a place to chill between streams uh, and even hang out on Fridays with uh, like movie nights and Jackbox nights. So 
uh, we'll uh, we'll get that going. And again, appreciate any feedback because guys, this is our community that we're building. Uh, I'm just kind of a voice here, but this is our community we're building, and I want it to be a super inclusive, like positive place to be. So anything you all have to say, I'm super open to hearing it. But yeah, next week we start again uh, with Poke Mondays. Uh, we will be continuing to get good at uh, Pokemon Legends of Arceus, uh, as well as continue our Sonic Marathon on Tuesday and Wednesday, and we will have a special uh, E-T- e- uh, E-Rank uh, next week, uh, doing something really special. Uh, so, thanks Rio for sticking through the whole thing. Thanks Key, thanks Slayer, JD, Dark, Dante, all of you, thanks for following and all of that. So, we're going to see who we can raid uh, and give some love to before we all dip off to bed. Uh, you know, I think uh, since it's Thursday, I know Doryu has a little bit of time left in his stream. So I'm going to send you all over there uh, just to chill out uh, and show him some love as you're uh, wrapping up your nights. So we'll send them over there. Uh, what should we say? I wonder what we should say for a uh, for a uh, a raid message. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Just go in there and uh, just spam emojis. Go in there and just spam emojis in his chat uh, <laughs> and cheer him on. He's doing like a uh, tournament tonight, so just cheer uh, with some heart emojis and wish him some good luck. So go do that. Uh, send you all over there and. Uh, remember, if you're going out, please mask up, use sanitizer, uh, go get boosted, uh, and stay safe so we can make it through all this. And have a good weekend, and I will see you all on Monday. Good night, everyone. <laughs>